first one. Okay, so, so we're here, we moved over to a second property. We're in Normandy Village in Miami Beach. This is a property that I sold. It's a 35 unit building consisting of two buildings on an entire block of 55,000 square feet of land. So 55,000 square feet of land with two structures on it, multi-family of 35 units. Everybody's got central air. This is another example of a value add deal where the owner value add in the respect that the rent roll wasn't at market and the units also could use a lot of improvement to increase the income. And this is what the investors liked. So kind of like the conversation we're gonna have now is based on you know, the value of having the proper relationship with your sellers, with your owners and persistence. You know, the deal that we sold prior to this one that we went to go see was called Club California. And just to give you a motivating factor of, of you know, there's a lot to learn in commercial real estate, speaking intelligently with buyers and sellers, managing buyers and sellers, knowing how to get a deal under contract and how to damage control it during the contract phase and get it to the finish line. So the deal that we saw before, the most motivating factor is like, Jacob, why do I want to do all that? What am I getting at the end? I got to learn things. I don't like learning things. I have to read, I have to do math, I have to do profit and losses. I'll tell you about dollars. The last deal we saw was a $280,000 commission. So question to you watching this video is, is that motivating enough for you, $280,000 commission? On a deal that you control, you control the seller and you have a listing on. So this is another deal that we have a list, we had a listing on because it was sold. It sold for $6.3 million, which was a $240,000 commission. So the challenge here was the market at the time, the property was worth $4.6 million, $5 million tops. I sold it for 6.3. Every deal that I've ever brokered, I've always made the market, was setting the bar at a new price. My deals that I sell are always record-breaking sales. The lesson here is persistence. It took me a year to sell this property. Never gave up, stayed persistent. We were under contract four times. Four times of negotiating the price, getting under contract, uh, deposits, due diligence periods. For those of you that don't know what a due diligence period is, it's like in residential, that you have a seven or 10 day inspection period. In the due diligence period, it's like your inspection period, your homework period. During the due diligence period, you're gonna study the rent roll, the income and expenses on the property, invoices, service contracts, confirm the sizes of the units. Everything that the buyer needs to do to determine the worthiness of the property needs to be done during the due diligence period. Typically a due diligence period on a commercial real estate is somewhere around 30 days. During that 30 day due diligence period, you do A to Z to determine if that property is acceptable for the buyer to buy. My opinion is be involved with the due diligence period with your buyer. Don't be one of those brokers who just says, hey, have a nice day for 30 days. I'll talk to you on the 31st day when I know we're gonna move forward or not move forward. Be involved, learn, listen. You know, provide the profit and loss statements, create profit and loss statements, be involved because you can damage control the deal. Oh, there was a $30,000, you know, a 2019 bill for water, but the income expense statement was, was 25,000. Where's the $5,000 discrepancy? If you're involved, you can find why there was a $5,000 discrepancy. Maybe there was an overbill. Maybe there were leaks in the property that had been fixed by the owner. He replayed flappers and toilets and that won't be an issue with the next owner. My point is be involved during the due diligence period because you know what's going on with your deal. Uh, this thing here, we were under contract four times. Four times thinking I'm getting that check, four times it falling apart. And it was four times me saying, I'll get it done, I'll get it done. Staying positive, staying head clear, staying focused and getting it done. And I got it done, full price, $6.3 million, deal done. The buyer who bought this property owns about 3,000 units in Miami-Dade. This deal got me two, two, that served twofold. One was on the selling side. Two, I got good with the buyer, who now I speak to from time to time. He owns 3,000 units and he's a buyer. You know, so if you were to join SRE Commercial Group at London Foster Commercial, I will show you how to procure, how to procure sellers, how to procure properties for sale. Work with us, find a 30, 40, 60 unit building. I'll call the guys that I've already done deals with and they'll write the checks to buy the properties. I'll walk you through the due diligence period. 
How do we put a due diligence package together in a property? How do we give it to intelli intelligently in a book? Don't be that broker that puts it on a napkin and says, here, buyer, have a nice day. I'll see you in 30 days. Be involved in the process. This and much more will teach you how to do.